and Shalom. Give it all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukhah Kodash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who are learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, starting with the men, the women, and the children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Um, so this is a um, quick article that I came across. Um, Amazon is reportedly telling delivery drivers they must give biometric consent so the company can track them as condition as a condition of the job. So, you know, as we see, um, you know, the uh, <laughs> the uh, the movement, OK, the vibe that is uh, moving towards. All right. Uh, uh, this whole system of, uh, you know, complete totalitarian authoritarian uh, control that, um, you know, Evil E is um, trying to grasp, attempting to grasp on the on the uh, on the world. All right. On, on the, uh, the the citizens of the of, of the world. OK, bringing that squeeze in, which this right here shows you that, you know, uh, we're getting closer and closer to um, Esau, Esau ultimately trying to fulfill his belly, as it is written in the book of Job. All right. That he, uh, that um, that enterprise of being like the most high. OK, so let's read this. You no, know, not to make this too long. It says Amazon delivery drivers will reportedly lose their jobs if they don't give the company uh, company permission. The form will allow Amazon to collect biometric data like facial recognitions from drivers. News surfaced last month that Amazon was, uh, was planning to roll out an AI powered cameras in, in its vehicles. So, you know, when I, uh, you know, just read this article. I immediately thought of um, this uh, movie, okay, uh, which came out back in 2002, I believe, um, Minority Report, all right, because with biometric scanning, with, uh, you know, AI, um, artificial intelligence, Esau is basically using his technology to have the ability to be omnipresent, all right, the ability to be a be a, a omnificent, you know, basically all knowing and all powerful, right? AKA being like the most high, as the scripture says here in the book of uh Second Thessalonians, the, the second chapter. And, and this is how also we know, you know, who the wicked is, because the scripture says that in the last days, Second Thessalonians 2, verse 3, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. That day sp speaking about the day of Yahweh Shai, or at the day of uh our salvation, okay, as he says right here, the day of the day of Hamashiach is at hand. But that day cannot come except there come a falling away first, which is Israel falling away from their heritage, their knowledge, and their understanding in uh, of knowing who they are and knowing who their power is, which you know happened once you know uh, we was um, through a succession of time, but ultimately um, it was uh, at its climax during the uh, transatlantic slave trade, okay. Um, us losing our tongue, our language, our heritage, okay, our customs, okay, uh, and not knowing <clears throat> the name of our power and the name of in the name of His Son, so that that was a falling away first. But now we are coming back to the acknowledgement of who we are, pursuant to prophecy, all right, in the book of Ezekiel, the thirty-seventh chapter, and in the book of Baruch, it says, let me get that real quick as well, all right, uh, Baruch, second chapter. So this is how, you know, this is why prophecy is, um, you know, so important because through prophecy, we are able to know who we, you know, remember ourselves, all right? As Peter said, stirring up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Through what? Through the teaching of this word, through the teaching of the gospel of Yahweh Shai, okay, which you can only receive through the Holy Spirit. So this is um, second, I mean, Baruch chapter 2, verse twenty. 29 it says and if, and if you will not hear my voice surely this great this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter where I will scatter them which which uh, came to pass it says for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves and they shall and shall know that I am Yahweh their power for I will give them ears of Shalakia, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. 
So this is we, all right, the hopeful elect, the ones who have remembered themselves, all right, the ones who have are thinking and praising the name of our power, which is Yahweh, and the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, we are a fulfillment of prophecy, okay? You know, and this is a mighty work that the Heavenly Father, Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai, is doing. So with that happening, Esau knows that he has a short time. Esau knows that, you know, the end of his age is at hand because the true people of the Lord are waking up. And not only that is happening, right? It says, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that man of sin is also being revealed, okay? As it says up here, the man of lawlessness. And that's Esau Edom, okay? Esau is the man of lawlessness. It says, and these are some of his characteristics. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called power, or that is worshipped, so that he that he as power sitteth in the temple of power, showing himself that he is power. Okay, and Esau, all right, speaking uh, specifically about the Edomites of the tribe of Amalek, they sit in the temple of, of power, which is where is the temple at? The temple is in Jerusalem. Okay, so like in Israel, but they have taken over that that land and call themselves. The, the, the chosen people of the Most High. And they, they exalt and oppose everything that is called God. And this is one of the ways that they do this, okay? By using their technology to um, have the power that, to, to using their technology to try to mimic, I should say, all right, pseudo-mimic, because it's not even really mimicking, it's not even touching the power that the Most High, Bashim Yahweh has. But they want to attempt to um, achieve that power and um, but one of those ways is by, you know, uh, having people subjected to these uh, uh, to his to his AI technology. OK. And, and telling people that if they don't consent to biometric, if they don't consent to, you know, taking or, uh, you know, uh, agreeing to take take some, you know, um, injection. Right. Then certain amenities or certain uh Civil civil liberties will be uh, taken away from you. All right, so uh, let's read this. It says Amazon is telling its delivery drivers to cons to sign a consent form that allows the company to track them based on biometric data as a condition of delivering Amazon packages. Motherboard Lauren Carrie reported on Tuesday. Okay, thousands of drivers across the U.S. must sign the biometric consent paperwork this week. All right. So you read, excuse me, you read this, you uh, and you should automatically in your mind, you know, link this up to what? Revelation, the 13th chapter, the 16th verse. OK, those draconian laws. OK, that Esau is coming out with. All right. The beast system is that is, uh, is coming out with ultimately to have the world, you know, uh, 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 worshiping the beast. All right. And receiving his mark. Now, this isn't, you know, the, the mark of the beast, but this is also, this ties into the uh, Internet of Things, all right? It all ties together, all right? Going towards that ultimate goal of him trying to achieve uh, Revelation 13, uh, 15, and 16. It says, the form, which was re uh, reviewed by the outlet and published in the report, states that Amazon would be allowed to use Onboard safety cameras technology, which collects your photograph for the purpose of confirming your identity and collecting and connecting you to your driver account. The system would then collect, store, and use biometric information from such photographs. The technology specifically would track a driver's location and movement, like how many miles they drive, when they break and turn, and how fast they are driving. As Motherboard noted, the drivers presented with the consent form are employed through third-party delivery partners that use Amazon delivery stations, but who are still subject to the company's working guidelines. An Amazon delivery company owner told the outlet that one of the drivers refused to sign, citing Amazon's micromanaging as the reason. In a statement to Inside, Amazon sp spokesperson Deborah Bass said we piloted the technology from April to October 2020 on over 2 million miles of delivery routes and the results produced remarkable driver and community safety uh, improvements, which this is what they always say, man. They always try to show a 
reason of convenience, a reason of safety precautions, safety measures to try to push their draconian measures out, to try to push their, you know, uh, uh, authoritative, you know, uh, um, government, governmental control out, just like how they did with the uh, Patriot Act. OK, when when uh, 2001 hit, you know, they said, oh, we need to we need to you know have this Patriot Act so that we can keep the citizens safe, X, Y and Z. Right. And then they signed the, 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 the NDAA. All right. Which is basically like the second Patriot Patriot Act so that they can further take away the civil liberties all in the name of safety. So this is the same same move, man. You know, the uh, the uh, pressure from above, pressure from below. All right. Um, it says accidents decrease 48 percent. Stop sign violation decreased 20 percent. Driving without a seatbelt decreased 60 percent and distraction driving decreased 45 percent. Don't believe the self-interest critics who claim these cameras are intended for anything other than safety. Right. <laughs> you see, they say, no, this is only for safety. But here it is. You need to, to have biometric consent. OK. And telling people that if you don't do it, you're going to, you know, be uh, fired. You will lose your job. It says the report comes after Amazon announced in February that it would start using cameras equipped to artificial intelligence. All right. That's Esau's, you know, uh, brainchild, <laughs> artificial, fake, that's what artificial means, fake, pseudo, not real, intelligence, and that's all Esau is, man. All his intelligence is pseudo-intelligence. It's, it's uh, as the scripture says, uh, um, science uh, falsely so-called. It says, is in trucks that track the, the drivers while they work. One driver... Quit over privacy concerns regarding the new cameras. Amazon told Insider in a previous statement that the new cameras were part of an effort to invest in safety across our operations. Yeah, right. It says the AI cameras are able to sense if a driver is speeding, yawning, or if they're not wearing their seatbelts, among other motions. Each truck system includes four cameras. One with a view of the road, two that face the system, the side, Salakia, that face the side windows, and one that face the drive faces the driver. So, like I said, when I read this, you know, I immediately thought of um, this movie. We know which you know brothers haven't seen it, sisters haven't seen it. You know, it's a good movie. But this came out back in two thousand and two. Once again, goes to show you that the mindset Esau already had these things in his mind, in his in you know, in, in bringing them into uh, fruition. You know, uh, uh, in a succession of time. Okay, in the dispensation of time, which all goes according to prophecy because nothing happens without the heavenly father Bashem Yahweh Shai sanctioning it and the Lord said that these things were going to come to pass all right so now Esau because he knows he has but a short time revelation 12 verse, verse 12 because he's seeing these prophecies come to pass the uh, the Israelites waking up throughout the four corners of the earth now all these things that he put out in these movies all right uh, uh years decades ago now you actually see them are, uh, are, you know, real life, okay? The whole Black Mirror, you know, series um, on Netflix, a lot of these things that was seeming like a futuristic or uh, dystopic, you know, futuristic uh, um, life is actually what you are participating, what you are living right now. And it's ultimately going to accumulate and escalate and climax to that um, MOB. All right, so let's, let's play this little clip and there's another clip I want to play as well. Um, from this movie. See that scanning of the eyes? They have that. Train in, makes two stops at 20th and like, Let me see. Train makes two stops. Now this is He's been uh basically the government, right? They were able just like that to be able to pick up somebody based on these biometric scannings that were set up all throughout the city. Alright? AKA being, you know, uh, um, uh, um 
um, uh, omnif- I think it's omnipotent, you know, which means like all, you know, uh, uh, um, everywhere at once, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I could be wrong. Let me see. Omnipotent. That might be all powerful, actually. But it. So, yeah, so that's um, having unlimited power. So I'm omnificent. Let's see. Um, omnipresent, my bad. Omnificent means what? Knowing everything. So you got omnipotent, omnif- uh, omnificent, and uh, omnipresent. So Esau in the Most High is all of those things. Okay, he's all knowing, all present, and all powerful. And Esau wants to be, you know, um, be that. He wants to be like the Most High. Right? He wants to be om- omnipresent. And the way he's, he, the way he's, you know, moving towards that is by his uh, technology, okay? And if he he's able to track, you know, put the put these uh, put that mob inside of you, then he will have complete power over you. So he's now he'll be now uh, omnipotent, okay? Putting those scannings, you know, those uh, those chips in people's brains so that they be able to you know link right up into the into the uh, internet, right up into you know uh, the computer computer chips. That's him, you know, uh, uh, being omni, uh, omnipotent, okay? Uh, so like, uh, uh, um, omnificent, which is um, uh, all-knowing. But it's all pseudo, man. It's all lying wonders, as it is written down here. It says, even him, 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 9, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Who is this person? Speaking about the man of sin, the son of perdition, Esau, Edom. With all power and signs and lying wonders, okay. So you see this, like, damn, that's so that's so amazing that they're able to do this. And scripture tells you that the the whole world wondered after the beast, okay, because of their artificial artificial intelligence. But in this movie, through the biometric scanning, the eye scanning, they was able to pick up on him. He was the main character, um, Tom Cruise. Pick up on him and know exactly where he's going, where he's, uh, you know, where he's at and where he's going. He's been identified on the metro. The train makes two stops at 20th and 33rd. Send you in its seats location. Never make 20th. That's faith. And people, so like, I'm sure we finish it. Let's keep stopping. Hey, you see how the, the newspaper just immediately changed? You know, digital. <laughs> we had digital newspaper, which really, you know, is what your phone is. Okay, your phone, our phones are digital newspapers. Because at an instant, as soon as something gets uploaded, it's instantly, uh, you know, I have an app called Breaking News app. As soon as it gets uploaded to whatever site, I get a notification. So we have digital newspaper, all right? And in this movie, you know, because somebody would say, you know, your phone is able to, you know, they can able to track you with your phone. But there's so many times where people can lose their phones. People actually show you in movies, they say, ditch your phone. You know, you throw your phone away so, you know, they won't be able to track you, which is why they have to ultimately put that subdermal implant in you because you can't ditch yourself, yeah, right? You're going to cut off your arm, you know? But, the, and this is why ultimately, you know, that's why Esau has to, is going to come out with that um, MOB because that MOB is going to be able to track you wherever you at and it's going to be able to cut you off from, from the system. So, you know, there you have it, man. So, um, get you know, one, one or two scriptures. Don't need to make it too long. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, it says, Least Satan shall get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. That's right. Because these things right here is Esau trying to get an advantage of the um, the ones who are asleep. All right. The ones who are, 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 are the children of darkness. But we are the children of day. That's why we got to continue to stay up on our watchtower. Because, you know, them saying... Oh, if you don't consent to this biometric, you know, uh, form, then, you know, you'll lose your job. Now, a lot of people will be, you know, afraid, 
because they don't want to lose their job because you got to obviously buy and sell. You got to work in order to buy and sell. You got to work to to support yourself, support your family. So that pressure will make people fold. And that's why you ultimately have to have the spirit, all right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai resting upon you, which Yahweh told us, you know, uh, uh, in the book of Joshua, be strong and of good courage. You know, but Esau wants to take your courage away. He wants to take your courage away and instill fear into you, right? Instill fear into you and, and take the fear of the Lord out of you and put the fear of him inside of you. You see? And the way he's going to do that is by uh, um, exercising his power that he has in the earth right now. All right, this is um, Daniel chapter 3, verse um, 3, verse 10. So if I could read through this quick, it says, Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man shall hear the the sound of the, the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the psaltery, and the dulcimer, the dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whosoever falleth down, whosoever not, whosoever falleth not down and, and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the providence of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, which were their slave names, or the Babylonian names. It says, These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if ye be ready at the time, now if ye be ready that at the time when ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made well. You see? <laughs> So worshiping that image, which is Esau is the same, you know, that's why this place is called, you know, uh, Babylon the Great, okay? Mystery Babylon, because Esau is doing, has that same spirit of trying to set up an image, okay, which is the image of, uh, you know, his empire, his ideologies, which comes from the first beast, which was um, the ancient Roman Empire, all right? Set up that image and receive that, you know, worship that, worship the, the, the beast, Okay, in his image and receive that mark because the mark is basically you showing your allegiance to worshiping the beast. And, and as uh, Nebuchadnezzar said right here, if you do serve the beast, well, but is it really well? Okay, it's well in the sense of to, to the wicked, you're doing something well, but is it well in the, in, in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot? Okay, and that's what Esau is going to present. See, it, it, it would be well, it would be safety precautions, it would be, you know, convenience for you to consent to this biometric, right? It will be convenient and it moves towards ultimately where that MOB. It will be uh, um, convenient. It would be safety precautions. It would be better for you if you do take this mark. It says, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you from out of my hands? <laughs> so, so that's what Esau really, and that's why the scripture says that when the enemy should come in like a flood, the Most High is going to lift up a standard for them that fear the Lord, man. Okay, because Esau is basically going to do all this to try to to uh, to to test the power of the Lord. And the, who is the Lord going to show His power in? The ones who have trusted Him. You see, just like how Nebuchadnezzar said, "Who is this guy that can deliver you out of my hands?" And that's the same mindset Esau has. Okay, that same. Uh, Obadiah, the first chapter says what? The pride of thine heart has deceived you. That's the same mindset Esau has, that who is God that can deliver you, uh, you Israelites, out of my hand? I can do whatever I want to you. So you should worship my, my image. You should take my mark. I can make it good for you or I can make it bad for you. But we have we trust in the highest, man. All right? We have faith and trust in Yahweh, in, in Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, to the death. That's why the scripture says, strive for the truth until death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. And it's also written here in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 17. It says, For when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength, and among them that know it, 
thou makest their boldness manifest. And that's what the Lord's going to do, man. So when you devils act, when Esau, you know, comes ultimately down with that, uh, with that wrath, the Lord is going to act, man. The Lord is going to act on our behalf and show his power in us that believed it. Okay. So, you know, I ended there, Lord willing. This was edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechak Wadash. Till next time, Shalom.